All right, guys, for today's video, uh, I wanted to give an update to a video we did last week. And just before the weekend, uh, Twitch came out with an update to their sexual content policies after they had just finished releasing new changes to that policy two days prior. So on December 15th, they came out and wrote, uh, on Wednesday, we updated our sexual content policy. Our primary goal is making these updates was to make our guidelines easier to understand and enforce. <laughs> As we saw in the previous video, people went to town with that. Um, and they acknowledged that saying, first, we want to make it clear that some streamers in response to this updated created content that was in violation of our new policy. We've worked quickly to remove that content and issue channel enforcements. However, there are also a great deal of new content that was allowed under the updated policy. Much of the content created has been met with community concerns. No duh. <laughs> Upon reflection, we have decided that we went too far with this change. Digital depictions of nudity present a unique challenge. AI can be used to create realistic images and it can be hard to distinguish between digital art and photography. So effective today, and this was, I believe on the Friday, we are rolling back the artistic nudity changes. Moving forward, depictions of real or fictional nudity won't be allowed on Twitch regardless of the medium. We aren't making other changes to the updated sexual content policy. So obviously Twitch found themselves in a bit of a shitstorm. Um, you know, as I had shown you in the in the previous video, a lot of things had come out where people were just testing the waters, pushing to the extreme limits because they were allowing certain things and didn't have other parameters implemented yet. Um, yeah, it was hard to manage for them, it seems. And I find this part here, digital depictions of nudity present a unique challenge with AI because uh, just before the original uh, content policy changes came out on the 13th, on the 12th, a Twitch streamer by the name of Susu um, released an AI bot that would produce photos of herself as well as text and voice messages, all AI generated. And she writes, introducing Susubot, text, voice, messaging, and hot pictures are all possible and all made with consent. Don't waste time with Susu impersonators and scuffed deep fakes when you can have high quality pictures and a scam free experience. And as you can see here, obviously the image is blurred out, but um, you can search this up if you want. This would be one of those concerns on the site where, you know, people probably could post something like this or start using something like that. And she wrote, only photos of myself and my own voice recordings are used to generate the bot's images and speech. All other elements are created entirely with computer generation. No real people were involved without their consent. My AI is built different. I've been dealing with people misusing my identity for years and all the parasocial problems caused by my impersonators are due to them not saying they are not me. The bot is upfront and it's not real and has regulation. This was made with, I'm assuming this is me and others safety in mind. And this is interesting because um, there's been, you know, multiple stories of other streamers that have come out and said that there's been deep fakes of them. Um, a big one that was going around, I think it was Ludwig's girlfriend, Cutie Cinderella. You are able to look at women who are not selling themselves or benefiting off of being seen sexually. They're not benefiting, they're not selling it, they're not platforming it themselves. If you are able to look at that, you are the problem. You see women as an object. You should not be okay doing that. And it should not be a part of my job to have to pay money to get this stuff taken down. It should not be part of my job to be harassed, to see pictures of me nude spread around. It should not be something that is found on the internet. It shouldn't be. That's, that shouldn't be a part of my job. And the fact that it is, is exhausting. And to the person that made that website, 
I'm going to sue you. I promise you. With every part of my soul, I'm going to sue you. I know I shouldn't have gone live. But I couldn't do it. I'm so exhausted. And I think you guys need to know what pain looks like. Because this is it. This is what it looks like to feel violated. This is what it looks like to feel taken advantage of. This is what it looks like to see yourself naked against your will being spread all over the internet. This is what it looks like. That's it. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. I don't condone the behavior of anybody involved in this. She had stumbled upon a website due to Ludwig's friend viewing this content. I've known Atriarch for years. I don't think he's a inherently bad person. I think he just really f up. Uh, and it's disgusting and it uh, hurts my heart. And I will say to anyone who is disagreeing, I encourage you to go look at the Twitters of every single female that's been a part of this. Not one female who's experienced this has said it's okay, right? Not one, not one of them has been like, eh, it's not a big deal. Um, and now to combat this, she's coming out with her own bot that will just generate her own photos for her. And to me, this is getting into a very strange, like black mirrors realm where we're obviously with AI getting better and better, it's going to be more difficult, I guess, to deter determine what is real and what is not. And AI in its current state is like the crappiest version it will ever be. It'll only get better from here. But on the flip side, this now allows these kinds of girls who do these booby streams or try to entice, you know, men to uh, subscribe to their OnlyFans or whatever kind of content to basically sit back and do nothing really. They can have the AI generate the content for them. Uh, essentially, a lot of these guys probably won't ever be interacting with these girls. And as this continues, it's just going to snowball into instead of, you know, people being catfished, they're just not going to be dealing with anybody in general. And that's not good for society. That's not good for relationships. That's not good for us who need that person to person connection. Everyone's going to start becoming more in this little bubble. If anybody can just create any kind of photo they want of her in any position, anything that she's doing, saying anything to her or saying anything to you, you know, texting you anything that you, you deem or that you would want her to say to you. Now it's all at your fingertips. It's like, <laughs> why leave the house, right? You're just going to be stuck in this weird bubble and it's, it's not a good look. And this isn't just for this kind of content. I've seen another YouTuber who's trying to create his own AI bot to start making videos for himself because he says he knows that his career has a certain shelf life. He might become a lot more busy as life gets goes on, but he still wants to make content. And so he's going to make an AI bot who will basically continue producing YouTube videos for him. And all he has to do is use these AI generated scripts and programs that will create all this digital content for him and he'll still upload it to his YouTube channel. And I mean, if you have a substantial YouTube channel, a lot of subscribers, a lot of views, and you're just putting out all of this content that you made, which really the AI did, you're still profiting in the end of the day from essentially some could say other another person's work or, you know, person this being ai but i don't know it's just weird this the it's so disconnected from person to person and it just becomes void of anything but again uh, i mean i'm glad that the changes happen kudos to twitch really dumb that they even implemented it in the first place um however you know i guess they saw the error in their ways uh, eventually after getting so much backlash and uh, hopefully going forward, this will stick. But again, this is just my opinion. So love to hear from you guys. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks so much.